a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. John Paul Getty III John Paul Getty III the 5th of February 2011, also known as Paul Getty, was the eldest of the four children of John Paul Getty Jr. and Abigail, and the grandson of oil tycoon J. Paul Getty. His son is actor Balthazar Getty. Early life Getty spent most of his childhood in Rome, Italy, while his father headed the Italian division for the Getty family's oil business. His parents divorced in 1964 when he was eight years old, and his father married again in 1966 to model and actress Talitha Bowl. They adopted a hippie lifestyle and spent much time in Britain and Morocco during the 1960s. Getty remained in Rome living with his mother Gail, and attended St. George's British International School. In early 1972, he was expelled from Street George's after having painted six feet high wording offensive to the school's headmaster in a hallway of the school one afternoon. Later that year, his stepmother died of a heroin overdose in Rome. While his father moved back to the United Kingdom, he remained in Italy, where he lived a bohemian life, frequented nightclubs, and took part in left-wing demonstrations. Endowed with a considerable artistic inclination, he reportedly earned a living making jewelry, selling paintings and appearing as an extra in movies. Kidnapping At 3 a.m. on 10 July 1973, Getty, then aged 16, was kidnapped in the Piazza Farnese in Rome. He was blindfolded, transported, and imprisoned in a mountain hideout in the southern Italian region of Calabria in the tiny fishing hamlet of Seminara. A ransom note was issued demanding $17 million in exchange for his safe return. When that message arrived, some family members suspected the kidnapping was merely a ploy by young Getty, as he had frequently joked about staging his own kidnapping to extract money from his wealthy grandfather. A second demand was received, but delayed by an Italian postal strike. John Paul Getty Jr. asked his father, J. Paul Getty, for the money but was refused as Getty feared that if he were to pay the ransom, his 13 other grandchildren could also be kidnapped. In November 1973, an envelope containing a lock of red hair, a human ear, and a note was delivered to a daily newspaper, with a threat of further mutilation of Paul unless $3.2 million was paid. The letter read, This is Paul's first year. If within 10 days the family still believes that this is a joke mounted by him, then the other ear will arrive. In other words, he will arrive in little bits. At this point, the reluctant Getty Sr. negotiated a deal to get his grandson back for about $2.9 million. Getty Sr. paid $2.2 million, the maximum amount that was tax deductible, and he loaned the remainder to his son, who was responsible for repaying the sum at 4% interest. Getty III was found alive in a petrol station of Loria, in the province of Potenza on 15 December 1973, shortly after the ransom was paid. At his mother's suggestion, he called his grandfather to thank him for paying the ransom, but J. Paul Getty refused to come to the phone. Nine of the kidnappers were apprehended, including a carpenter, a hospital orderly, an ex-con, and an olive oil dealer from Calabria, as well as high-ranking members of the Drangheta a mafia organization in Calabria, Girolamo Piromali, and Severio Mamaliti. Two were convicted and sent to prison. The others, including the Drangheta bosses, were acquitted for lack of evidence. Most of the ransom money was never recovered. In 1977, Getty had an operation to rebuild the ear that had been cut off by his kidnappers. Later life In 1974, Getty married German national Gisela Martin Zacker, who was five months pregnant. He had known her and her twin sister Jutta, since before his kidnapping. Getty was 18 years old when his son, Balthazar, was born in 1975. The couple divorced in 1993. Getty acted in some European films, he played supporting parts in Raoul Ruiz's The Territory and in Wim Wenders' The State of Things, which was shot, at the same time as Ruiz's film, using part of its cast and crew. He and his wife lived for a time in New York City, where they consorted with Andy Warhol's art crowd. Permanently affected by his kidnapping, Getty suffered from drug and alcohol addiction during the years that followed. In 1981, he drank a Valium, methadone, and alcohol cocktail which caused liver failure and a stroke, leaving him quadriplegic, 
partially blind, and unable to speak. Afterwards, he was taken care of by his mother. He eventually sued his father for $28,000 a month to cover his medical needs. He never fully recovered and remained severely handicapped for the rest of his life. By 1987, however, he was able to regain some degree of autonomy. He could again visit concerts and cinema, and was even able to ski when strapped to a metal frame. In 1999, Getty, along with several other members of his family, became citizens of Ireland in return, for investments in that country of approximately £1 million each, under a law which has since been repealed. Death On 5 February 2011, aged 54, Getty died at Wormsley, Buckinghamshire, following a long illness. He had been in poor health since his 1981 drug overdose. He was survived by his son and his mother. In popular culture, A.J. Quinnell used Gitty's kidnapping as one piece of inspiration for his book Man on Fire. The 1995 book Painfully Rich, The Outrageous Fortunes and Misfortunes of the Heirs of J. Paul Gitty by John Pearson includes significant content on Gitty's kidnapping ordeal. The book was adapted to the 2017 film All the Money in the World, directed by Ridley Scott. John Paul Getty III is played by Charlie Plummer and, as a young boy, by Charlie Shotwell. The kidnapping is also dramatized in the 2018 television series Trust, directed by Danny Boyle, with Harris Dickinson as John Paul Getty III. Aerosmith's song, Last Child, has the lyric, Sweat hog ready to make a silk purse slash from a J. Paul Getty and his ear slash with her face in a beer. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?